Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more of the Yoshi Hero Story Mode. It's me, Cooper, and we're going to be capturing more soldiers for our army. Uh, starting with uh, this one over here. We need to capture this Blitzel guy. Why do we need him? Just to increase our army's strength. Nothing more, nothing less. We want to let the other armies build their strength this time around. We don't want to just have a sw clean sweep. Yoshi Hero Story has a lot of main characters in it, and I mean a lot. It has all of them, basically. No, other than my my own pro main protagonist, and maybe like uh, what's that one guy's name? The the kids and the ground type guy, who uses ba or he's not ground type, but the Bastiodon guy. Can't remember his name right now, but those guys aren't here. But other than them, most people. All right, Blitzel made a good choice going after my guy. No paralysis, luckily. He does a shit ton of damage, though. I gotta worry about that. Ugh, I'm gonna get kicked back. We know there's holes somewhere. I didn't get kicked back, though, so everything's fine. What matters right now is that I killed his Blitzel. Alright, Deep Breath is not very good on a Litwick, but we'll take it. We're gonna go ahead and do 11 damage to the Blitzel. 10 damage. Alright, I'll take 10. We're gonna fortify up our, our guy here. And we're gonna kick this Blitzel in the butt. This is my freaking bench. And then Onyx. What the hell? Is this a gold link for you? Oh, shit. This is Onyx's perfect link. I didn't even know. Alright, hold up. Gold means perfect, or 90% usually. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we got the man his perfect link. I didn't even know it was this one, but there you go. Doesn't mean I'm gonna let him use his perfect link, but this is what he wanted, so I gave him what he wanted. Alright, Blitzel, you're next. I'm afraid that's not gonna work. Our timber is extremely powerful. And now we're gonna let Litwick deal with you. There we go. We've taken out the Blitzel problem. Now we can focus on more inter interesting things. Now, let's see if we got him. Yay, we got him. That is good news. We need to increase our army. Blitzel, come on. Oh, this guy hates Blitzel. He's your favorite typing. You like normal types. All right, Blitzel, come on over. Yes, splendid. Oh, look, yep, that means it's his perfect link. When he reacts like that, that means it's his perfect. Watch. Let's go to info real quick. Let's go to the old man with Onyx. Onyx is 40%. 100% for Timber. Yep. Timber is that man's perfect link. Now, I'm not going to let him use it in this story mode, because we actually do kind of need an Onyx, but other than that, I'm just glad I was able to get him his perfect guy. Now, a Snivy might be a little harder to get, but I'm sure we can do it. Let's just move our forces forward. Yoshihiro is an old-school powerhouse, and sometimes the best way to beat somebody is to beat them up. You don't need to outsmart them. You don't need to be like, oh, I'll just go here and make sure you go here. Uh, even though he does have tactics with his thrust ability, um, sometimes you just be beat a person up. That does enough. That's all you need. All right, Machop. Sadly, you appeared near the Abra. I was hoping Scraggy would. But I guess you can kill Abra with a crit. Ah, next time. Oh, that Machop's going... I mean, that freaking guy's going nowhere. And this guy has an attack up thing, and he went after my Scraggy. That's the wrong target. Machop's a lot weaker than my Scraggy, I'll tell you that for free. Alright, why don't you just bustle me up, which does absolutely nothing in this case, but do it anyway. And let's see how much you can do. 18 damage! That means Timber's gonna murder this guy. Like, absolutely destroy. You know what, just to make sure, I've had some low rolls today. This old man is inconsistent. I'm gonna go ahead and get a Mighty Blow going. Yeah, 39 damage sounds nice. Hopefully that Snivy decides to join us. Yeah. I could use a Grass-type on my team. And the Abra got its instincts in! Ah, with its instincts it's gonna take one more turn. You lucky Abra. Sometimes you can't beat an instinct, can you? Try that- try again, Machop. There we go. Sorry, Abra. You're a cool Pokemon, but you gotta be dealt with. Hey, we got ourselves a Snivy every... Well, it might not be a Snivy, but I think we got ourselves a Snivy. Yeah, we got ourselves a Snivy. Not a very good link percentage of 42, but we'll take what we can get for now. We just need people that are, are in the future are just going to be working in the mines anyway. 
All right, time for June. Let's see if people get aggressive. Nah, they're going to have a, br a break, probably. All right, starting next month, things are going to get aggressive, though, so we got to watch ourselves. Ooh, there's an interesting person in this area. Who is it? Kunoichi. I've actually already had her as a perfect link, but it wouldn't be mad to bad to expand a little bit. All right, a place I never want to lose is Illusio, but to get Kunoichi, I'm probably going to want Yoshihiro. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send Yoshihiro over there, and I'm going to send some people to defend Illusio. In fact, I'm going to send a lot of people to defend Illusio. I do not want to lose this place. I mean, I, I never want to lose Illusio. That place would be horrible to have to recapture. I'll send two. The new Blitzel and a fighting type that's really strong. Ah, yeah, you're doing fine over there. You just you just hold on to Terrera by yourself if possible. All right, you three should be able to handle this job. I think the Onyx will struggle the most, but we'll be fine. Timber can probably kill most of these guys. And having Ember is going to be nice, too. All right, let's have you stand here for this time. Okay. All of them appeared on this side of the map. That's a little unlucky, but... As long as I don't position terribly, that Scraggy won't just straight up kill me. But I need Kunoichi to get near me, so I guess that's not the worst. I just gotta go over here. Now, even though he has the gold medal above his head, that does not mean a guaranteed perfect link when you have a Warlord. That means you probably have 90% or over. Now, he's gonna go kill my Onyx as planned. Please be real. Oh, there's no hold areas there. Mmm, Onyx took the hit, though. I'm honestly impressed with Onyx right now. Did not expect him to take that hit. Alright, so how much can we do to Scraggy? Because this thing's the most important. Yes, we can kill it. With My Mighty Blow is great for capturing enemy Pokemon because literally double damage is great. 10% chance, though. Please do not miss. Please do not miss. Oh, yeah, we got Kunoichi, didn't we? Yep, that sounds good. And Onyx, you are... Per oh, well. Yeah, I forgot your perfect league was Timber, and there's another one right there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just let this guy take care of your little problem there. It's not a guaranteed kill, but it should be fine. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Little, little Litwick did a great job. And now Onyx, I want you to get away from everybody because you're useless now. Actually, I don't even know why I brought you in the first place. At most, you would have been okay with Kunoichi since you have Jagged Edge. Alright, so let's get to killing. We're gonna start with the Machop. Nice little kick in the head. Hey, just enough damage. We literally did just enough damage to win that fight. Perfect. Now we're gonna keep making the Onyx run away, because Onyx will die. And we're gonna Ember you. There we go. Critical hit, we can kill him right now. Nope, no kill. It's okay. We'll get him next time, guys. And the damage is bad. Okay. This guy was never a threat anyway. Let's go ahead and let our Timber take him down. I bet you all these other Timbers are like, Yoshihiro, Yoshihiro, please. I know you're old, but let me bond with you. We can link. And this Timber's like, no, he's mine. I will bond with the old man. All right, well, we got Kunoichi at least. And she should have a Weavile, so that's even better. Though, to mix things up, I'll probably let her have her Scraggy in this story mode. Just because I'm tired of using the same Pokemon every time. I always end up getting the same Warlord somehow, but it'll be fine. What the hell? Hey, hey, looks like we picked up a friend or two. Let's go, Weavile. Alright, you just showed up, but yeah, okay. I guess you can make that line. Or you could say that line, if you want. Alright, let's enter in here. Let's uh, go to our start. Let's go to info real quick. Uh, yes, even though Weavile is an amazing Pokemon, we're going to go with your 90% Link Scraggy. I feel like that'll be fine. Scraggy is a decent dark type, as we know from these guys over here. Now, I don't really need to capture anything else, so why don't you guys just work in the mines? Oh my god, most of... Even the old man's a 50. Most of you are great at mine work. That's great. Yoshihiro would have a bunch of people that are good at working in mines. Being that he's a buff old man. Alright, and I still gotta work with Aya, so Aya... What do I do for you? There's not really much to do over here. You know what? I'm going to let you retreat from Terrera. Normally I wouldn't, but we have some mines and pugilists you can work in. Maybe... No, that place has 400. That's fine. It'll be protect. No one's going after Illusio. 
Yeah, she only has 50 power. Or she doesn't even have 50 power, and that's her evolved form. But it makes sense. She's more about, um... She's more about, uh, shopping. I don't usually do it, but it's supposed to be your, uh, charisma stat. Whenever you shop, you want to have somebody with high charisma. Alright. Wow, all the armies are being really nice. No, Oh, wait, there it is. Masamune. The... Wait, wait. Let me get this straight. The flying-type warlord is attacking the rock-type warlord and expecting to win. And he won. The guy using a scyther beat the guy using... Oh, I guess his sub... Okay, his subordinate does use a, a carnivine. Another favor? Guys, you were here like a week ago. Here, here, just take it. Just take my money. You know I love you guys. So we already lost Ujiyasu. Uh, Ujiyasu is now part of Masamune's army. And Kai is just somewhere in the world. Doing her thing. So I gotta think now. What do I want to do? Everyone else doesn't seem to be too dangerous yet. So it's okay. We don't have to get aggressive. As long as I'm defending the Lugio, everything should be okay. I'm thinking of building Pugilis up. Because honestly, I like building up territories. But I need people working in the mines for that. So we're going to have you guys work in the mines for now. As strong as you guys are, working in the mines will help. It does let your, your links go up a little bit. Not too much, but a little bit when you work in the mines. Especially when you're successful. And then we can use that money. Oh, I, I, I'm curious. Does this Is this a smart old man or is this a dumb as bricks old man? What is his wisdom stat at? He's 63. That's not bad. That is not bad. A D minus, but that's passable and he's all about battle. That's not bad at all. Now, obviously, the girls in my army are way smarter. I don't know what the hell they did. They, they freaking they spent their time in the, with the books and that was smart. Yoshihiro's here like, hey, I passed I pass the test. He made it out of high school with D's. And that's that's doable. Hey, listen to this. I just got news from the field. I just wanted to let you know that if you wanted to meet new warriors, my farm's the place to come. Oh, nice. We've opened up a farm. That's pretty cool. Oh, well, I'm supporting the farmers all the time, so I'm glad they're actually just going to let us in. Ooh, okay. Fire-type Pokemon are going to be buffed in a bunch of areas. Now, let's see what happens. See, no one's aggressive. Oh, well, Masamune is being super aggressive in this story mode. He's now attacking Nene. Now, Nene's army has Hanzo, so she should be harder to conquer than Ujiyasu was. And yet, she got conquered, didn't she? Holy shit, Masamune is on a warpath right now. That is a very strong-looking Scyther. It could definitely beat my team, but I have an Onyx, luckily. Ooh, that's not good. Masamune's army is getting a little... A little intimidating. Alright. Well, if his army's getting intimidating, that means I might want to expand my own. But who do I want to expand? Do I want... I kind of want Kataro. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go with Kataro. He's, uh, he's reliable. I got an ice type on my team now. I feel like we can do this. So I'm going to send you two over here for now. You two will be the, uh, the party that probably goes out. Well... I might need another fighting type. You know what? I'm gonna let the Machop guy is the weakest one, so I'm gonna let the Machop guy come with me. And you know what? Pugilist doesn't need that much protection. We can, we could, uh, we could let Kunoichi come. Kotaro, you don't want to go too low with Kotaro. He is a pretty hard guy to fight in his territory, especially since in his territory people get taken away by that mystery thing. Yeah, this is a well-built team. I can beat them. I can beat them. Plus, I have two evolved warlords. Both Kunoichi and Aya are evolved. And funny enough, they're both from Shingen and... Uh, what's the other guy's name? And Kenshin's army. Alright, let's have a little fun. That's good. I need to kill that dragon more than anything. No matter what, look at our health bars. We're still really weak to a dragon rage at the end of the day. So we need to we need to increase our health bars. Well, actually, we just need to kill that dragon quickly, which is possible since I have an ice type and a fighting type, a couple fighting types, but it's still going to be difficult. Cuz it's still a dragon. Dinos are known for being very strong. 
especially since they don't evolve till they're level freaking 50, and that's just for their first evolution. Their second evolution's at 64, it's the latest evolution I know. Now obviously there might be one later, I just don't pay enough attention to the newer Pokemon games. But uh, back in the day, 64 was the longest. For a final form, that is. Alright, got all of them lined up for Frostlass. I see that they set themselves up like that. So Frostlass is going to have to just take the hit. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be able to kill that dino. Frostlass, just do your best. Hit that dino with everything you got. Very nice. I'm honestly very impressed with that. Now Machop, funny enough... I don't want you to get killed, so I'm going to have you stand here to attract the Rufflet. Timber, you get over here to bait out some enemies. And Scraggy, you come and help. That Sandile's going to have to die eventually. Ponyard's first, huh? Alright, this could be bad, but I'll take the hit. Rufflet's going to go after my Machop if my plan is correct. Yep, this is going to hurt, but we can do this. Not bad. 24 damage is more than expected, but we'll take it. And Dino refused to attack with Dragon Rage because it could have killed his friend. Whereas the Powder Snow guy was totally like, yeah, no, that's worth it. And he was right. Oh, please get rid of the Rough Light. Yes! That was literally the best choice possible for me. Literally just for me, not even for him. And I know what you might be thinking. Cooper, you're still in danger. But it's fine. Frostlass is amazing. Alright, so this is what we do. Frostlass, you're going to go right through this guy. And you're going to do 27 damage. And then if I'm lucky, Machop's going to be able to kill him. If Machop misses, we lose. We might lose Machop. 99% accurate Karate Chop. There we go. With a crit, because Karate Chop has high crit ratio. Fun's over. Okay, it doesn't look like he wants to join me. That's fine. At least I got rid of him. I don't want Masamune capturing this guy. He'd be a big threat on Masamune's team. Alright, that's one less enemy. And Kunoichi, what's your ability again? You increase crit chances, yeah? I think her ability, it's not just speed and being able to jump in high places. It increases critical hits. So let's see. Yep, cri critical hit. There we go. And Frostlass can honestly deal with that rough light. I don't want it anywhere near my Machop again. It's getting pretty close to that Machop, though. Ooh, double blind. That's no good. Fighting types hate being blind. But I found the perfect target for Machop, I'll tell you what. Hey, Machop, why don't you go and bully this guy? There you go. See, you can do plenty of damage. 119. Holy crap. That was a beautiful crit. Frostlass, you're in the same boat. Why don't you go do some beautiful damage yourself? Ah, yes. You killed a dragon, and now you killed a freaking Rufflet. And we managed to take Kotaro out of the war. Now, there is a chance he'll join someone else's army when he's going out and being a freelance warrior. Or war... Well, I still call him a warlord, but he is going to be just a warrior out and about. I was able to increase the power of two of my men. That's good. I got his entire army, just not him. That's completely okay, though. I didn't need him. I just needed the army to defend my areas. So this is what we're going to do. We got to make sure Illusio does not fall. So Illusio should be our main target. Well, actually, no. Pugilist should be one of our targets. Then Illusio, because we can't risk Illusio. There we go. And then... There we go. I'm leaving Terrera alone. If Masamune even comes near it, then I guess we'll have to clash with him, but he stays away from it, we won't have trouble. We're both... I own four territories, he owns three. He probably will go after it, if I know the man. He will. He's gonna be a dick. But it'll be fine. For now, we're just gonna go ahead and keep digging. We're running low on funds, and I want to increase that fighting type area, if possible. Yeah, let's go increase that fighting type area, Pugilis. Up to level 3 stuff. For now, though, just... Oh, wow. Everyone is good at working in the mine. It feels so good to have a bunch of people over 70 power. 
No, do not pick up the hammer. You will break it. But it is nice to be able to have all these people that actually have good power levels when it comes to mining. Now I just need somebody with a Meowth and we're all set. Alright, everyone seems to be real- oh, no, nope, except Hideyoshi, he's ready. And he, he's smart, he's the Fire-type going, going after the Grass-type guy. That was intelligent, and it worked out. Hideyoshi managed to take him out and got him to join him. Very good play. Masamune's going after- no, wow! He's really going after four territories, that's impressive. He lost to no! He finally found someone that he couldn't beat, which is crazy because no- oh, no can hit him. I forgot he's a bug type. Never mind. If he had his regular perfect link and not this, um, not the Pokemon he has, um, Scyther, then he probably would have won. Oh, someone's in the freaking cave here. Let's see who it is. Shingen. Interesting. I should go after him. Um, let's see all of our territories first. We don't want to just go in willy-nilly. Um, yeah, honestly, we can go after Shingen. Yeah, why not? I don't even have to move anybody. Let's just do it. Alright, Shingen, I would love to capture you, if that's possible. It's been, I haven't got to use you yet. Your story mode was so quick, I only got to use you in one battle. It felt like a waste, honestly. You know, I'm, I'm willing to send in it. Oh, you know what? Scra Scraggy Girl's fine. Come on. We'll bring in, we'll bring everybody. We want Shingen to join us, don't we? I might as well go all out, then. Alright, not like he has much protecting him in this area. Just some wild Pokemon. Alright, Timber, just go ahead and get as close as you can. We want to hit Shingen immediately. Yep. Our goal is to hit Shingen as soon as possible. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and just do some little snow on this guy. Nothing too powerful, just a little snow. And you are going to also do it because you have top speed, which increases your distance by two. Yeah. Why don't you run here and protect Frostlass? There we go. That's one less enemy to deal with. You gotta love Mud Shop. Now we gotta think about dealing with Shingen. I want to use my guy Yoshihiro, but he's about to get blinded by a Mud Slap. So using him is probably not going to be an option. Luckily I have Frostlass still. And Frostlass would do good damage, because uh, she's just a good Pokemon. Well, let's see how much he does to me, though. Holy shit. <laughs> that was a lot. Alright. Can I hit him? 70% accurate is not very good, but we got to take what we got. Wow, it worked. I'm honestly impressed. Alright, time to work on the old man himself. Time to use my trickster ability. With this, I should be able to hit him and get a crit. Let's see. No crit. This man is good. Then we're going to have to use you instead. Machop, push him into the corner. Maybe even get a crit on him. No crit, and he lived. Frostlass, why don't you do the finishing blow? Super effective Icy Wind. Sorry, Shingen, my whole army was built to beat you. I'm a bunch of fighting types and ice types. I see your strength surpasses even mine. Is that is that, a, is that the line that he says when he wants to join you? I actually don't even know. Yes, it is! We got Shingen, everybody. That is a happy sight. Sadly, we got Shingen with a Rhyferior. And I mean sadly, because that means we have to use Rhyferior. I would much rather have Rhydon, if I'm being honest. But Rhyferior's fine, let's have him join us. Having Shingen in the army will definitely be a plus. Alright, I still need to build up Pugilist, so you guys are gonna build... I mean, you guys are gonna dig for gold. Yeah, all of these guys except the old man are over freaking 70 power, that's great. And the old man's not even like a low a percent, 50 per power is still usable. I would say D is passable, but 60% uh, is passable, but 50% is usable. I'm going to have these guys finish up building. Yeah, they're not even bad. Their intelligence stats are great. Wow, I'm just, I just got a great army here. Yeah, if I spend 2k, we should be able to build it. Yeah, we made it to level 3. A level 3 park, everybody. That's awesome. Splendid. Yes. And now we get to see what happens. Now that Masamune lost to, um, what's her name? No, I'm kind of curious what kind of routes they're going to take. And Hideyoshi did conquer the grass area, which was kind of expected. Hideyoshi is now going after Fontaine, the water area. That's not really a good idea. And yet he succeeded. That I'm seeing a lot of impressive things today. And, uh, yeah, he got some water types on his team now. 
Masamune is going for a second attempt. That's understandable. With two forces, no should fall. And... With his second attempt, he managed to conquer No. He couldn't capture No, but he got some uh, ghost types on his team now. Huh, there's someone else here now. What the hell? Kai's here. I wouldn't mind having Kai in the army. Let's see who else is around and about. Yeah, getting a bunch of main characters seems like a good idea. Let's let's see if Kai will join us. I do have a Rhyferior now, so I'll just send in my two boys. Yeah, these two guys. Shingen with Yoshihiro, two old men. Of course, Yoshihiro's way older. But it's fine. Alright, now I just gotta find out where that... Okay, there's the, the fire type. So, actually this lined up perfectly. You go get hit by this guy, and I shit you not, old man. You just stand here and bait. You want you want that hands here to get closer, but not too close. And honestly, your rock wrecker is amazing, but it better kill her in one hit. Four damage, that was expected. All right, let's see how powerful your rock wrecker is. Holy shit. All right, if this hits, it's a very low accurate move because Rhyferiors are extremely slow, but it's an instant kill move when it hits. Damn, that's unlucky. That is unlucky. Of course, that's common when you're using a Rhyferior. Using Shingen is very difficult in a game like this. I, I really do prefer Rhydon with his drill run attack. It's a lot, a lot easier to use than Rock Wrecker. The three spacing of Rock Wrecker, the fact that it only hits one Pokemon, it's, it's rough. But it works. It does work when it hits. When it hits, it's the death move. Alright, this is only my last rock wrecker before she corners me. Heart of the cards. Hey, Yu-Gi-Oh! Lingo works! <laughs> Thank you, Yami Yugi in the sky. We actually beat Kai. There we go. Look at that. You got a couple percent for doing it, too. And we can recruit her. Perfect. Our army grows. Kai should have a Darmanitan, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. She has a goddamn Darmanitan. Alright, you could just join us, Kai. For those of you that are curious, Kai is perfect link is Darmanitan. Which is why she has one. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and march everyone else out of here. And they're gonna go and do some stuff. Those guys are developing there. Why don't you guys go to Terrera and maybe I'll get you to develop there. I'm curious. Um, let's go ahead and have you guys just, I'm going to develop for you. I want to take my time on this place. This is our home after all, so we should take our time here. Develop her farm, that, that farmer's farm. She was a nice lady. Help her make it grow. And there we go. That's a nice looking farm. All right. Now you guys in the mines, I want you to continue what you're doing. Man, you guys make us a lot of money, and I really appreciate that. The money is good. Uh, don't pick up the shovel, though. I don't trust you guys just yet. I hardly trust war warlords with that, let alone regular warriors. Alright, I got a bunch of junior war warlords over here, though, so let's see what they can do. We could probably take over that Carnivine and her farm. But I'm thinking better of, you know what, I'm rather just going to give them a break. I'll give him a chop the day off, too. Yeah, let's go ahead. Ah, I always say yes on that one. I always want to say no. I don't know why I do. Yeah, there you go. You guys get yourself some pony geary. Machop, on the other hand, he's just going to take a break. It's okay. We don't need to be fighting every five seconds. I want to see how the world reacts now that No's been defeated. All right, Ginchio has decided to take on Hideyoshi. Not really a good idea, seeing as you're an electric type. However, you succeeded. And Hideyoshi is going after Oichi, the last regular army in that area. He, she will most likely fall. She rarely wins battles. And Oichi even joined Hideyoshi. Holy crap. In the main story mode, she always said she would never join him. But there, there you go. Masamune is really spreading. If he can beat him, oh my god, he beat Mitsuhide. Masamune captured Mitsuhide. He works for him now. Masamune's army is now really scary. I left him alone. Oh my god, there's a new person here. I was gonna say, I left him alone for way too long. There's a new person there too. Oh. 
Ooh, let's just get to capture and let's see who's here first. Dino! Okay. With this army, I could probably capture Dino, so we're gonna send... I probably shouldn't have just sent you all in there before finding out who the other person was first. Whatever. I'm gonna send you all in here. Timber's a little far away from everybody, but I'll get them in position. Right, this is what I want. I want you over here. Uh, Rhyferior, you're probably gonna be not very good in this fight, but that's fine. Darmanitan, you have quick strike, so you could be far away. Plus, I like you near the lava, since Darmanitan can use the lava. What the hell is Disgust? I just saw that Scraggy's ability was Disgust, and I don't know what that is. That seems really cool, though. Alright, we're gonna quick strike and try to stun all of these Pokemon. Alright, let's see here. Well, I can't hit all of them, but I can leave that Scraggy alone. Let's see if I can get a stun on these. Power Blast is such a good move. Hey, we got the double stun. Nice. That means my Timber can just come in here and kill you. Yeah, there we go. Now we don't have to worry about anything. And that also means I can get Shingen into position. Where he can actually hit Dino. Now, Shingen will do normal damage to Dino, but that should be enough. If anything, I'm just going to kill him with Timber, though. Let's see how much I can do. Oh, holy crap, yeah. I'm going to do even more damage just to do overkill. I always thought overkilling something was funny. Oh, yeah, that looks funny to me. Sorry, Dino, I'm going after you. Oh, yeah, that's an overkill. Hey, I've taken a liking to you. That's a good sign. I believe that means he's joining us, everybody. And now let's just kill off this guy. Good old-fashioned fire blast. Good job, Kai. 1%, 1%, 1%. We're not really growing very quickly. Matsumune is definitely growing faster, but our army is something completely different. Our army is growing very fast. And we got a Zoroark to join us. Or I could use the Dino. I'm probably going to use the Zoroark, though. I love Zoroark. Not even going to lie. It's one of my favorite Pokemons. Probably is my favorite Dark type now that I think about it. Hmm. Yep. Yep, it probably is. All right, let's go see who's over in this area. Oh, Yukimura. Hmm, who could be... Oh, I already used Shingen, damn. This is why I should have checked. Um, we can bring Onyx, you know? I have a Sandal there. Yeah, we can make this work. Alright, why don't you guys go and protect Terraria? I know Illusio's the most important, so I'm gonna send the most important people here. I'm gonna send... Aya knows Yukimura, but Yukimura will kill Aya, not gonna lie. She, uh... She's not that strong. In fact, Yukimura will probably kill this Onyx, too, but he's the best option I got, since I already used Shingen. Alright, let's go ahead and get in there. Who else is in there again? Hmm, there is a Scyther and a Beldum. I probably should bring in Aya as well, just in case. Yeah, let me march that Grass-type out, and let's let Maya in. Alright, Aya, let's go. So the two sides of the map, Matsumune, Matsumune is definitely taking over one of them, and the other side of the map is being dominated by uh, Hideyoshi. Not by too much, but he owns this whole corner right here. I guess he got ruined by Genchio, but Genchio's not that strong yet. And honestly, Yoshimoto's just chilling, and Nobunaga and Leiasu are just chilling. Like, these two are just like, what the hell happened around us? Oh, he got Kenshin to join him, smart. Well, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I want to thank you all for watching. Next episode, we're going to try and capture this last character right here, Yukimura. And then we're going to have to think about what we're going to do about the Masamune problem. Because he has a lot of warlords under his employ. And he's just a strong-looking guy. He owns too many territories as well. Bye-bye, everybody.